ants. Welcome back to Analfa's channel, and today we are going to cover the topic on how to set up Stable Diffusion 1.5 on MacBook. In this video, I will be using MacBook Air 2020 with M1 chip. Now, let's start the tutorial. First, we need to install the Package Manager Homebrew to get started. Open your browser and type brew.sh, and then click the first link over here. On the Install Homebrew section, you can copy this script. Next, search for a terminal in your Mac, open the window, and paste the script you have just copied, and then click Enter. This step will run the installation process for Homebrew. Homebrew is like a helpful tool that makes it easier to install and manage softwares on your Mac. It takes away the hassle of manually finding and installing programs, libraries, and command line tools that aren't already built into Mac OS. The process can take a while and you just have to wait. Once the installation is done, before we proceed to the next process, we need to copy this step above first and paste it again on the terminal and then click enter. After this step is done, now we will type this script to install the required package and click enter again. Now we wait until the download is finished. Once it's done, now let's clear up the terminal window first. Next, open your browser again and search for Stable Diffusion's Automatic 1111 GitHub repository, or you can copy and paste from the description box below. Make sure that you already installed Git on your Mac previously. In the same terminal window, type CD documents. This means that we are inside the documents folder and we want to save the Stable Diffusion files inside here. Type git clone and then paste the link from the automatic 11.11 GitHub repository. Now we are accessing the Stable Diffusion web UI folder inside Finder and let's search for the folder called models and then click Stable Diffusion and in this folder we will add the base models for Stable Diffusion 1.5. Let's prepare the terminal command first to this folder path for download. Open your browser again. I'm going to download this main model over here, the V15 Brunet. Next, just type wget on your terminal, paste the link again, and wait until it's done downloading. After that, let's open the Stable Diffusion Web UI. Now, go to the main Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, scroll down until you will see the webui.sh file. Open the terminal again, type to access Stable Diffusion Web UI path folder, and to run the Stable Diffusion Web UI, always type dot slash webui.sh and then click enter. Once the loading is finished, it will show a URL to access the web UI locally on below. All right, the URL has shown and copy this into your browser and welcome to Stable Diffusion A111 web UI on your own Mac. Now the Stable Diffusion is ready to be used and on the top left is where you select the downloaded models earlier. Now I will try to generate a text. Uh, let me type forest. And as you can see, you can track the progress every time from the terminal window too. If you want to use other models, I recommend you to go to civitai.com. They have lots of models that are optimized for Stable Diffusion 1.5. You can download any models you want, even for free. Make sure you save the model file in the same directory as before. During the download process, the file will be named as numbers. And before you can use it in Stable Diffusion, you must rename the file later. When renaming the file, always add .save tensors or .ckpt so that Stable Diffusion can detect the file. Go back to the web UI, check the model tab, and let's click refresh. The model should be ready to be selected. Now I'll try to generate a picture first. Before we end this video, keep in mind that the Stable Diffusion might take slower time to compute the process due to the specs. But as long as you have free storage space of 15 until 20 gigabytes, it is still good to go. And that concludes for today's video. If you have any questions or want to discuss more, join Analva's community in Discord or Telegram, link in the description box below. Don't hesitate to ask and we'll help you swiftly. Until next time.